All right, we are recording. Hey, everybody. Thanks for tuning in again to On the Road with Chief. And here we are, season two. And what does it take to get a warm-blooded Texas boy like me out into this freezing cold, snowy area? But we're here for a good reason. We've got two drones that we have ready to deliver an AED, an automatic external defibrillator, in the hopefully never happens event that someone would have cardiac arrest. We're out at the American Berkebiner Ski Race and the difficult terrain, you can kind of see some of it. The long distances make it difficult to get access to a patient. So Dr. Jesse Cohen came up with the idea of what about flying an AED with a drone to some of the more difficult to access parts of the course. So Lennon has been working with Craig Connor uh, at your department Dr. Jesse Cohen and Michael Randall, and uh, of course myself, and we've been collaborating uh, kind of over the last year to get to where we're at today. Uh, and also, let me thank AVSS for uh, supplying a parachute system for us for this uh, Matrice 350 to be able to utilize. Even though we're in a populated area, it's trees, we're not gonna fly over people to do this delivery system it's still good that we have that safety system on board as well. So really appreciate it. Do you have any thoughts on, on this and this use case and what you've learned so far with the drone? I think this is a really good environment to test this idea of what a drone can be used for, kind of using its special skills. But there is a need for some extra units to plug into it, like what we're showing here, what we worked on. Um, we couldn't find anything commercially available that would would be able to do what we were looking for. So we're excited to test, test it out. Great, I appreciate it. And uh, we're gonna find out some more about all of this operation. I get to be with the person that this is all being done because of his great idea to utilize drones to carry an AED. Dr. Jesse Conan of the American Berkebiner Ski Race. And just kind of tell us about what came about where you thought we should use drones to carry AEDs. Well, we've learned through unfortunate experience that responding to a cardiac arrest in a rural or wilderness trail setting like we have here at the American Berkebiner, that it can be really challenging getting an AED to the scene. And in this situation, time is of the essence. Every minute counts. Survival goes down five to 10% with each passing minute. And we've tried our best for years using people and snowmobiles to respond to the scene of a cardiac arrest. But I realized that there has to be a faster way. And that's where the idea of drone travel, air travel with a drone came to mind. And I was lucky enough, I feel, to get connected with DJI to partner with us and team up with this project. And last year having DJI here allowed us to prove this concept of uh, using a drone to carry an AED. And this year we've really stepped it up and have been working with Lennon Rogers and the engineering team at the University of Wisconsin to try and improve our setup and try and enhance that connection between the drone and the AED to really speed up the delivery of the AED from the drone in the air to the ground where it needs to be. Now I'm with Michael Randall of Higher Perspective Aerial Services. And uh, tell me real quick how you got into doing EMS at events like the Berkey. Well, I started the National Mountain Bike Patrol in this area about 25 years ago. We didn't have a whole lot of bike events at that time. We started getting calls from the ski event planners and we've been doing ski patrol up here, bike patrol for the last 25 years. We were one of the first patrols to carry an AED. We started working with the uh, Twin Cities Marathon to carry AEDs on their course and have had quite a few saves over the years. Last year, I was working at a ski race in Minneapolis and the medical director asked me to contact Jesse Conan, the medical director up here. And I did, he said he wanted to deliver an AED to the race course using a drone. I had been a commercial drone pilot for about five years. And so I looked around for a drone that could carry an AED and DJI was the obvious choice. I reached out to DJI and they eventually hooked me up with you, Wayne. Tell me your thoughts uh, when you were approached about this concept. 
Well, I certainly thought it was possible. And, um, you know, I did start looking at payload capacities for drones and, you know, DJI was the obvious choice with their expansive uh, line of drones that can carry agricultural sprays and advanced cameras and heavier equipment. So yeah, I thought it was absolutely possible, you know, whether we dropped it at a low level, whether we landed it on the ground or whether we came up with some other way to deliver the AED safely from the drone. Yeah, I definitely thought that there was a possibility. I know last year we used a long line and lowered it down. And uh, this year we have a fancy mechanism from the University of Wisconsin. Yeah, that's great. So we're at the Berkey Viner Ski Race in Northern Wisconsin. And our goal is to be able to increase the ability to deliver these AEDs uh, to athletes if they go into cardiac arrest during the race. Uh, and we're using a DJI drone plus some hardware that we've engineered at the University of Wisconsin. The one that we focused on and we're uh, going to test today is one where the AED is inside this uh, thermal bag that has little heat packs in it to keep it warm. And it goes and is attached through a custom sleeve mechanism we've designed through the legs of the Matrice. And it connects up through a dropper in two locations. First is this, the dropper holds this entire case up in between the legs of the drone. And initially the pilot will release that mechanism. The, the, the bag will slide out, it rotates. And then this zip line component is held on and it drops to the ground, whatever uh, height we've specified. Right now it's set up for about hundred feet. And once the AED is on the ground, then the pilot will release the final clip, which uh, then the drone is completely disconnected from the AED. And then other people around the victim can then uh, grab, unzip the, the bag. The drone is far away up in the sky and they can then uh, use the AED. So tell me a little about the system that you guys have created that's going to go on the drone. Yeah, it attaches to the dropper on the drone in this spot here on the front, which is kind of holding the whole assembly up. Um, and then it also attaches on the zip line part. And that's the part that will be falling down to the ground and providing the resistance. All right, I'll go ahead and load it up here. I might tip it back. I'm going to go ahead and slide it up in there. Get the catch there now. And then I take this front part that into the dropper. We are good to go. All right. Okay, so if there's an emergency call coming in, uh, this drone will take off and go to the GPS coordinates that's been specified uh, with the call. Uh, when it's, it's set up right now to be about 100 feet above the, the trail, and the pilot, once they have good view of where they want to lower this AED, they'll release the, the one port on the dropper, and that's going to release the inner bag with this uh, zip line mechanism. Then the whole unit will fall down, except that it's attached in the front here with this uh, zip line or repelling type device um, that provides some resistance. So it has a constant rate of descent going down. Uh, once it reaches the ground, it should be slowed down enough to have a soft landing. And then the pilot can do the final release of this cord. And then the, the drone's completely detached and then can fly back. Well, thank you everyone again for tuning in. And despite the cold in the snow now we're getting some sunshine it's been really great to be here you know last year for the event to get the proof of concept for this life-saving use of drones and then this year being out here to start to really see it come together so next year third year's the charm we'll have some more finished product and hopefully again not be needed so thanks again also to AVSS as well as Verizon crisis response team for providing the Airbus that has been coordinating all the drones in the event, not just us, but all of the other drones. And uh, I really appreciate all the work that uh, Michael Olson and his team have been doing. So thank you again, Verizon.